the thing that's crazy on the Mississippi is you look at the stage that you can find on the internet, anybody can find that information, and it's gonna tell you one thing, but that doesn't necessarily mean the same thing across the board on the entire pool that you're on. Because the pool has a gradient, so it's, you know, it's at a slight angle, like an incline, and certain ends of the pool are gonna fill up differently than other ends of the pool. So just because it came up six inches on the north end of the pool, it might have come up a foot a foot at the bottom end of the pool, just depending on what they're doing at the next dam below. So I would I would guess that it's actually come up quite a bit more. We're in the midsection of pool eight right now. I think it's come up more than where the gauge is. The gauge is on the north end. So that's part of the dynamic too of being successful on the river is figuring out what that river stage is doing in relation to your areas and being able to predict where fish are going to go when that changes because obviously there was a lot of fish in this area yesterday and i got two bites but it's it's clearly different than what it was oh, i just got hit he just slapped it See, there was no possible way that a fish could have been where I just had that bite yesterday because it was literally land. I think the best thing you can do when you're new to coming to this Mississippi River is to, instead of looking at a map and saying, oh my goodness, look at how big and vast this place is. There's so much to fish, I don't know where to start. Pick a section of the river, you know, let's say a five mile section and stay in that section and don't try to do too much. You know, just put the boat in the water, whether, you know, you can choose to be in the, ba in the backwaters or on the main river, but one or the other, you need to uh, pick a smaller section. There's fish all over this place. Um, and if you just stay within a five mile section, you're gonna find some fish to, to play around with. And that'll give you the confidence and a little bit of uh, familiarity with how the place fishes. And then you can start to expand on it from there. And, and what you're going to do is base whether, you know, you might decide to fish the main channel or a backwater. Um, you're going to probably wonder, how do I decide if I'm going to do that or not? Um, it's really about time of year and water level. If the river's low, focus on a five mile section of the main channel, fish wing dams, sand flats, um, grass lines on the main channel. And if the river's a little bit high and the flow's a little high, pick a five mile section of backwater and fish sandbars, cut banks, and grass lines in the backwater. So that's, that's basically how I break down going to a new pool that I'm not familiar with, um, or how I would recommend somebody who hasn't been to the river before to just get their feet wet.